Do you think we should be able to wear sweats and basketball shorts to school? Yeah, I don't see why not. What do you think we can do to change that? Uh, maybe get a petition going. Do you think it will help t us test? test? Yeah, you'll be in a more relaxed environment, therefore you won't be like, you know, like, uh, Do you think we should be able to wear sweats and basketball shorts to school? Yes, yes I do. What's the reason why you think we can't wear sweats and basketball shorts to school? Because they're too easy to pull down. That's why. What do you think we can change? Like to do that, like, what do you think we can change so we can wear basketball shorts and sweats? Is it for our protection that the school doesn't allow us to wear sweats and basketball shorts? Would you like to participate in wearing basketball shorts and sweats? Okay, so the way I've always heard it classically argued, um, yeah, this video is going to be on uniforms, um, school uniforms in public schools, private schools, that's their own deal. Um, but in public schools, recently my brother's school decided they were going to do uniforms next year. So the classical arguments are kids they take less time getting dressed, um, can't be bullied for their style or lack thereof. Um, there isn't any distraction. So like, if a girl has a low cut T-shirt, um, which is outside of dress code, it doesn't distract other people, um, and it reduces dress code violation, which I believe is the strongest <laughs> thing that makes them stop which would go along with not distracting people. Um, first of all, first of all, um, to assume that anything someone wears when they get dressed distracts anyone for more than, you know, a couple of seconds is ridiculous. Uh, I doubt that someone would be distracted by the way someone dresses, um, even if it's the most, uh, licentious dress that anyone could find, um, it still could not distract. Uh, even hormone-raging teenagers for more than a couple of seconds, and then they get back on task. So, then the, um, the classical non-uniform argument in response to that goes, you know, freedom of expression. I want to express myself through my clothes. And though I don't agree with that sentiment because it doesn't mean anything to me, I've never expressed myself with my clothes, um, other people are free to do it. But the, the point is I'm not going to take that route going against uniforms. I'm going to take the route of, um, um, I'm going to take the route of a, a more of a, all of these are invalid and we should have our freedom. Uh, if you can't if you can't pose a good argument against having freedom to wear whatever you want, then you um, you shouldn't be allowed to enforce uniforms. So the main way, I, whenever I was in the, I went to the same high school as him. Um, the way I've always had it said, you know, with dress code specifically, is the fact that it distracts people. If you wear something. If a girl wears low-cut shorts, or if she wears a tank top or something, it's going to distract people. And I don't care if a girl came in with a bikini. It could not distract people for more than a couple of seconds. Kids do have short attention spans, but they're not that short. A kid's not going to sit staring at the same girl for fucking three se for more than three seconds. That's, first of all, besides, you know, the social coercion part, and then, you know, sociology of the kid is going to be looked at like a weirdo for staring at a girl for that long. Besides that fact, it's just not that entertaining. Um, we can take mental images and save those. I, mean, we sh I think we should be able to wear it because like, you can do more stuff and be more comfortable in activities, school activities with it. Do you think it will help us testing? 
Uh, for sure. Uh, you feel more comfortable testing and more ease. <laughs> Will it affect our grades? Uh, yeah, it should. So, because when you're learning and you're in a comfortable environment, you should be able to focus more on your grades. Will it affect my classroom disruptions? Can you repeat that? Will it affect our classroom disruptions? Oh yes, we should take it down because if you're comfortable, you, you'll be chill and listen to the teacher and just be comfortable. Could it help? Uh, what do you think about letting us wear basketball shorts and sweats to school? I think uh, just wear basketball shorts, that's it. Uh, do you think do you think this will help us testing? Probably. Will it affect our grades? Not really. Will it affect our classroom disruptions? Nope. Could it help with bullying? Nope. All right. So, Michael, what do you think about letting us wear basketball shorts and sweats? Do you think do you think it'll help us testing? Help us testing? Yeah, like with testing? I think it helps some people if they're comfortable and test better than if they weren't comfortable. Will it affect our grades? Grades? I don't know about that. I don't know what you're wearing if it affects your grades. Maybe. What about our behavior in the way of classroom disruption? Maybe. Insurance? I yeah. don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I guess some people act way different if they're not comfortable. So. Will it help with bullying or whatnot? <laughs> All right, thank you. It's for later. So that's why the dress code part is invalid, and I, I also just believe inherently there's nothing wrong with the human body. We don't need to cover it up or anything like that. So there's no there's no real motivation unless you believe in God in the sense that you believe that our bodies are we should be modest because our bodies are evil things which I guess would be more of a Gnostic or, um, or a more Protestant idea. But, um, yeah, let me just go one by one in the validity. These kids take less time getting dressed. Now, this one right here is uh, not necessarily true. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so kids take less time getting dressed. Some kids might. That might be true for some kids, but other kids like me, it would make no difference because I just find whatever the fuck's in my closet and put it on. Um, can't be bullied for style. Um, that's not true. Um, every person that puts on this uniform is definitely going to wear it differently. Every person, um, style isn't a big thing to be bullied about, it's the person themselves. Um, but anyways, everyone who puts this on... Um, and that goes on to the next point, the no distraction point, which would mainly be the fact that um, there are going to be girls who are going to take their uniform and make it into something that would be what these people would consider a distraction. Not what I would consider a distraction, but they're going to wear, they're going to cut the, or raise up, fold up their pants so it's still like low cut shorts. There's going to be people who are going to do that all the time. Um, reduced his dress code violation, which is the strongest. Now, like I said, it's not, like I just said with the no distraction thing, it's not going to reduce the dress code. Um, it actually may a little bit, but their rules are, you know, they just set an arbitrary set of rules, and then they expect people to follow it, and when they don't, you know, they get suspended, or they have to put on a new pair of clothes, which is bullshit. So, that's pretty much all I have to say about this argument. <laughs> It's like one of those arguments you would do in an essay for a, a state standardized test. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your time. Rate, subscribe, like, dislike. These are all your choice. Choose wisely.